Major oil spill seeping into beaches along Orange County. Gallons of crude oil leaked from a broken pipeline. Our mission is to provide the best achievable capture and care to oil affected animals. Get them back to our purpose built facilities and start to get the rehabilitative care that is necessary to get them back into a clean environment eventually. This is the primary care facility. Basically, an animal starts its journey with us when it is identified to be oiled in the field. I think the biologists are saying the correct pronunciation is plover. So our snowy plovers have been kind of VIP guests on this response. Um, that's because they're federally threatened and a lot of work has gone into getting their population up and restoring their habitat. So we're about to do a second wash on one of our snowy plover patients. Sometimes, for whatever reason, they're just not perfectly waterproof after their initial wash. We do think that we removed all of the oil contamination, so it's just a matter of uh, possibly removing more of the solvent that we add to them as the pretreatment, or removing some of the soap that we may have missed. I feel that it's a tremendous privilege that I have the job that I have within this response. It feels really good to see that bird fluff up in the rinse and very soon he'll be released back into the wild because of what I was able to do for him. From the second they come into care, we are doing everything in our power to make sure that those individuals are going to come out the other side of this as survivors and go back home and hopefully make lots of little babies in the future and, and help their population. So everything we do is designed around minimizing their stress. And I have to say, I think they're enjoying the food here. They have been gaining weight and really going for that food. So that's great to see. All right, so good morning. So today's day 15 of the spill, day 14 of our response. We're gonna release five of our snowy plovers and two of our sanderlings. We've got some fish and wildlife specialists coming to band the birds for us. Thank you all. Let's get some birds released. <laughs> So now that the birds have come through intake and processing and pre-wash care and cleaning and conditioning, it's now time to do their release evaluations. Our veterinarian is getting eyes on all of these birds to make sure that they're meeting our standards for release and that they have all of those criteria met. And now we're going to be federally banding them and color banding them as well so that we're able to track these individuals going forward and we'll be able to know that these animals that went through all of the trials and tribulations of this oil spill response will be able to follow them for years to come. We just finished banding, so now we're gonna uh, get packed up and make our way down to Huntington Beach and let the birds go. I think that went absolutely amazing. Uh, the birds took a moment to kind of get a, get a feel for their surroundings and then they flew off. And then that's exactly the outcome that we were hoping for. UC Davis has a pretty incredible reputation for animal welfare and veterinary medicine. I feel very fortunate to work at UC Davis where we give so much attention to doing things that are good for animals.